I've had a couple of students come and see me down at the golf projects ever so recently, really suffering with taking the club back on this square position, neutral club face position. They've either been ever so slightly too far on the outside or rolling the wrist too far on the inside and open up the club face. And my colleague down at the golf projects, Graham, has been telling me and we've been discussing and comparing notes on this. And we've been saying that our students have the same cause. They either have this tendency of taking the club head too far on the outside or they roll the wrist too far on the inside. So we're going to be joined by Graham today and we're going to be discussing how we can help you if you're someone that's really suffering with getting this takeaway on plane and help you get this smooth and effortless takeaway and backswing, making everything simple as we can for you. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Harry, PJ Golf Professional, transforming golfers worldwide down here from the Golf Projects. And make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner as we are so close hitting 10,000 subscribers. And make sure you drop those comments down below the tips or drills video you'd like me to cover in a future video. So, Graham, the hey, takeaway Harry. and backswing. Yeah. What do we think? It's one of the most important parts of the golf swing yeah. it's the hardest thing I find for people to get right but as I say it is the most important and it sets the tone for your golf swing yeah. so often we see as you explained we see a player who on, generally you. starts the club by rolling either the wrists as they feel or the forearms and they get the club face very open and they're always fighting an open club face so generally they get quite cupped at the top and then to deal with that club face they start to come over the top and they might get the club face square <clears throat> to their target but the path is so far left that they're only going to hit out to the right yeah so it's key as you said we, we talk a lot about a feeling or a move away from the golf swing um, and if you can get that right I think that the majority yeah, of the golf swing definitely. kind of takes care of itself absolutely it's yeah. that easy it's all about only. keeping that club face more square isn't it yeah I'm more than anything prefer, else that's the key certainly the, the more modern ways for the club to be in a stronger position so more the face pointing downwards the right hand on top of the club rather than it rolling either toe pointing up or in many cases we can see again there that tends to get the club very flat if you yeah. like and off the club the plane that we want to swing the club on and generally it then wants to steepen so i know that shallowing the club is all the rage the way to shallow is to have the club steep in the first place yeah which the method we're prescribing yeah helps you to do that. Yeah, definitely. Would you say sometimes um, you, you have clients, because I, I've got, you know, the majority of students, like you mentioned, mine will have the swing too far on the inside like this. Definitely. Would you, would you notice a couple that swing too far out as well? Without a doubt. Yeah, without yeah. a doubt. And, and generally that's, it's coming. I, uh, there's a, there, there is a study going on about, at the moment, about which part of your body you use to move the club away in the first part of the golf swing. Now that sounds obvious, which part do you use? Well. Do you use your hands to move the club? If you yeah. do that, then generally we see either that or we start to hinge. Got my you. thought has always been, since a kid, has been my left shoulder is doing the is doing the work for me. So I feel like my left shoulder works down. Yeah. It's not around. And that helps me get the club in the position I want to be. Okay. And when when you find the these players that come and see you, whenever they're suffering with the outside or inside, we've just basically confirmed that it's all to do with you or both basically us moving the hands to begin that yeah. golf swing what what drill could you give any golfer whatever they're taking the club on the outside or inside to help them get this smooth effortless takeaway that they're after in their backswing there's a few ways we can do it i know one of your favorites is to have the alignment stick yep um, of course if i can grab one then you'll let you demonstrate it because you're yeah so the first one you can take an alignment stick like this um i i like to give my um, students this one for mainly the majority that are suffering with that rolling of the wrist on the inside, open yeah. up the club face, just because when we set up to the golf ball um, and we try practicing this, the, the alignment stick's got to touch the lead side of the body and the lead side of the grip as well. And what's gonna happen is if we roll the wrist, the alignment stick moves away from yeah. the body. So this just allows them to get this sensation and feeling of, right, well, what's causing that start of the golf swing here if we're keeping this alignment stick touching the lead side? Mm -hmm. Because that's then helping you obviously get that club face a little bit more controlled here. 
less wrist movement taking place. And when I do this, it feels like I'm always using my upper back muscles to start that yeah. golf swing. Some Very people good. have said lead shoulder, trail shoulder. Yeah. Someone the other day told me that it was even their core muscles doing okay. it. So I suppose it all depends on, you know, what you're used to using yeah. in the golf swing, doesn't it? Yeah, whichever part of your body you feel is moving the club or you yeah. initiate the move with the club, that's what will do the majority of the work for you. Yeah. I prefer to feel more of a body turn okay. or tilt uh, than I do swinging with my arms. My arms don't, I don't feel, and that's the key, it doesn't feel to me that my arms are involved in the golf swing. It's more just a turn, tilt, tilt on through. the way back and through. Yeah. So how would you perform that movement? So the, the other way to, to take that on, if you like, if you don't have an alignment stick, is to, is to use the golf club. So I'd put the club on my left-hand side and okay. then take my grip, and then it's the same feel. It feels like I'm working my left shoulder more downward than starting to yeah. reach. And what I like about this is then you can work on up into position three. So we're here, position two, and then we feel the club is setting a bit more vertical yeah. on the way down. Obviously you can do that with the alignment stick Yeah, yeah. as well. That's the a position we're, we're always looking for, and if you look at any, most tall professionals, then they, at the position two, which is the club parallel, they'll generally have the club covering the hands, if not slightly outside. And then as they return on the downswing, we generally find it just inside, level, or depending on your shot shape. Yeah, and I take it that's solely because of that sort of steepening to shallow downswing that you tend to see all the pros have, yeah. likes of, you know, Tommy, McElroy, mm -hmm. all the big players out there, that's what they have, isn't it? They yeah. don't go too round like we've just mentioned there rolling the wrist yeah. getting too shallow and then steepening on the downswing definitely yeah. definitely if you if you've got the club if we assume that the club works on this sort of angle mm -hmm. would be a, a pretty neutral plane the butt end at this position is pointing towards the ball now if we've got it in this position we're always trying to get it back to that position which yeah. is an on plane golf swing your golf your, the club is traveling on different planes but in a simple idea the steeper it is on the backswing at this point, the more vertical, the more it's likely to shallow. Yeah. Which, if you want to do that. Yeah, it's interesting you say that because I, I mentioned quite a lot how the golf swing will work in reactions. So whatever you do on the backswing, usually we will have the tendency of doing the opposite yeah, in the downswing. So definitely. like you mentioned then, rather than doing this action here and getting a little bit over the top, we, mm -hmm. we notice that if we can get almost not, we don't want to be very much vertical, do we? Because no. then we're going to encourage a lateral. But we almost want, rather than going a little bit rounded, yeah. because that's when we get too steep on the downswing, we almost want to see that takeaway move we've just been discussing there. That one's a great job, by the way. There, I never thought of that there, setting the club there. Mm -hmm. But then we can get that almost wrist hinge, like you mentioned, yeah. to set the club in that position there, yeah. a little bit steeper, and then to get shallow there. Because yeah. I mean, suppose shallow, it makes it easy as well to keep the hands ever so slightly more ahead and yes. get that compression as well. Definitely, yeah. definitely. The steepness is causing, once the club gets outside of your hands, I know we spoke a little bit more about that for you, but you're yeah. not the usual case. You? you know, you tend to get the club a little bit more on the inside and yeah. drop. So when we've got the club here, the force on the club it's going that it's way. It's going to go that way. Yeah, so yeah. there's nothing you can do about casting all these things we're trying to fight. And it's all coming from that first move in the golf swing. Right. So you've got to get that right for me. So if we can get that right, then it's going to make everything else a lot easier to achieve, isn't it? I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. certainly. <laughs> I'd hope so. Yeah, we'd yeah. hope so. Well, for 99% of you anyway, let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, it certainly will. So it's, there are a few different ways you can sort of think of the backswing. What we're looking for is the club in a stronger the position, the club face more down, and ideally, that's roughly on my foot line, you would say, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, for me, some players are more, are without the wrist, some will have a little bit of wrist hinge yeah. in there, but there is a little amount, if anything. I've always used to practice to try and get the club face stronger would be to set my wrists here. Yeah. Not trying to set my wrists in that position. Yeah. It creates that extension in your wrist yeah, yeah. rather than here, we want a little bit more yeah. flexion. Again, we're closing the face. Everyone struggles with an open face, don't they? Yeah, of so course. So close the face on the backswing, you're gonna hopefully hit straighter shots. Okay, so we've spoken about those two drills that um, players can go and give a try. Uh, how can we 
almost give them a, a checkpoint. If you haven't got any of this sort of technology, Trapman IO and getting the cameras on so we can double check this, sure. what can you use to give so, yourself a really good checkpoint? If you set up for me, let's yeah. use you as a guinea pig. So if you've got an alignment stick or another golf club, if you take your setup for me, Harry. Yeah. Okay. So if we place that on your foot line, or basically it's under your hands, if you like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, just under my hands. So as you take the club back into from P1 into position two, we're looking for when the club is parallel to the ground. Okay. Are we in line with that stick? That's the Got checkpoint. It. And the leading edge here, we want to be matching your spine angle rather than where well, we see a lot of golfers that way. And this is all done in the wrist. So if you put your wrist more into flexion or bow it more, yeah. then we're getting a stronger club face. So that's like the likes of Dustin Johnson, isn't it? Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah. That's a good example for those yeah. of you who aren't too sure what that flexion is. Just think of that bowed action that Dustin Johnson has. And then that cupped action well you don't see any of the players out on tour doing that do not you? so many anymore yeah no you would would see it but not so much okay. anymore coaching has changed and you know that action requires more body rotation so you don't keep hitting hooks got you, you know? yeah yeah some players can react with the hands we're not saying it's one size fits everyone is it but i think for the majority of golfers that suffer with a slice get the club face stronger try and get it more Let's say a little outside the hands yeah. rather than rather than too rolled. far in. It generally yeah. goes inside the hands when the club is rolled, whether that's the wrists or the forearms. It's that action that's causing you problems in the golf swing. Got so it. strong, so that alignment stick, and that's where we're looking for. I would always have someone trying to feel it slightly outside as a feel, yep. because in reality it's going to work a little bit. Your checkpoint, More if you can out. film it from down the line, is club covering your hands at this point okay. yes on the video yeah, yeah yeah club covering the hands at that point as well yeah cool Definitely. and would you say the hand path is a key to this as well would you almost want to because i when when i'm um doing lessons i'll always mention right well from this point here we want to picture almost like a line going down across our hands here yeah going vertical to the ground and because if we push them out to try and you know get this takeaway yeah. right we're going to get the wrist going this way definitely and then if we go too much that way the club bends up working too far the opposite yeah. way you've you've got to think of, look we start with the club outside of our hand line so until yeah. we get to let's call it hip high or position yeah. two then i would like to see the club outside of the hands now when we ask people to take, have the club more outside, one of the faults we can see is, is then that. Right, yeah. yeah. Almost picking it up too yeah. much, So would you say? Yeah, definitely. So what we want to feel, if we can do it a different way, and I'm borrowing this drill. Yep. So if we're working on an arc, as the golf swing does, then we, can, we don't have to feel that way. We can feel the hands come in Again, this lends more to the left shoulder tilting down. Hands come in, and we've taken hand path inward, but the club face is remaining strong. We're getting that right hand on top. The club yep. face is a lot stronger. And then the club naturally wants to work more up and vertical. Into the top Definitely. swing. So whether you're more of a club outside this way. Yep. Yeah. Or it's more inward feeling i don't mind which one it is really but the okay. key is we're not on either one if you take that again yep. for me harry and make those make that hands inward move the difference between that of course we're exaggerating yep. is that hand the wrists going that way if we roll the wrists and the clubs in no man's land and it's you're fighting an open club face. Yeah, I suppose there as well, if you were to make a little chip shot and you did that rolling of the wrist to begin with and just rotated, you've got no chance, have no. you? It's pretty much shank galore there, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. So not great at all. So for, so for players that, um, obviously we've spoken about a bit of the checkpoints, so you can use, I'm guessing you can use something like a swing plate as well that's gonna help you set definitely. the club. Let's just say if you suffer a bit too far on the inside, it's, having that, it's great having those checkpoints there, but we've got to, understand what that's going to have, 
have to feel like in the golf yeah. swing. Yeah, and it feels differently. What feels one way for me is different to you, yeah. isn't it? So when we talk about feels in the golf swing, it's their individual rather than it must feel like this. So if you were to use, if you had a swing plate, then obviously you want that set at your, at the yeah. angle of the club shaft. Yeah. So are we happy with that, Harry? Roughly? Yeah. Let's bring that a little Doesn't bit closer here on. just so they can see. There we are. Perfect. Okay. Now, the advantage, you take your setup for me. Yeah. <clears throat> so for Harry, I would set it slightly inside. Okay. And just below. So we're trying to feel we're almost brushing along that there yeah. up to that point. And then what's great about this is you can feel that it hinges onto that same angle, if you wish. So it's Depends almost it. like, it's, it's what you mentioned before, as soon as you get to there, that hinge should probably just take place naturally yeah. as soon as yeah. you go, right, that's it now. Work yeah. it up to the top, I'm guessing. Yeah, everyone hinges yeah. the wrists at different points. Some are, you know, will hinge a little earlier. Some you know, like and here. some players put all the hinge, you think of a Garcia, the hinge comes at the end of his, at the start of his downswing. Got you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, where yeah. you put the hinge in is individual, but we do need some, because that is one of your major power sources. Okay. So I'd be having it, certainly for you, <laughs> who's more, too much generally on the inside on the downswing I would keep you on the outside of this stick for the majority of your shots yeah okay so it's almost like for me to avoid that stick on the downswing because like you do say I have the tendency of going too much this way and getting stuck so for me I've got to almost feel like I'm almost pushing not pushing the club out but almost just turning through more almost yeah. quicker so I avoid that. Certainly, we've got your swing direction, and that swing direction is when Trapman, as we're using Trapman, measures your goal swing at an arc from about knee high to knee high. Yeah. So for Harry, his swing direction was too much this way. So you would generally hit a push some more into us. and a hook. Now, what we want to do with Harry, because he swings it so quickly, is have his swing direction more that way. More that way, got you. Okay. okay. Hence, we've got that stick. Now, if you're the other way, then I would suggest you move it to the outside yeah. if you're a slicer of the golf ball and keep everything in. So, do you want to hit one? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not? So, so having it set up there. So, I've just got to keep it on, the, on this side of the stick. Yeah. Okay. Keep it on the outside for me. So, there. We're just stroking that stick there. Working our way up. Okay. I could feel that that wasn't as close to stick as my practice swings because immediately as soon as I started, I was thinking, I don't want to hit that. <laughs> so I, I kind of went a little bit quickly up and then, yeah. But that's, what, that's what the stick does. It gives you an awareness. Yeah. Now, anyone who thinks that's a bad shot is a... Oh, no, I'd say that. It was a great shot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a really good yeah. shot. Absolutely. Saying, we're, not, we're not trying to turn Harry into a slicer of the golf ball, but we're just trying to move his path from there and just shift that. And that's the beauty of a swing plate yeah. and an alignment stick that can give you that because it does so much for you. You get to work on your backswing, that first yeah. move in the golf swing. Now, if you were a, if you were a slicer of the ball, okay. again, we'd have it, you know, we'd start this way so it's not too difficult. So we've yeah. got the alignment stick probably six inches outside the ball line. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So you set your setup. Okay. Now, I wouldn't be asking Harry to to feel this way because that's we're going to get into danger but he shouldn't get anywhere near that stick if he just keeps turns on and tries to keep so that's hands in and the club in as well so more that way yeah so that does see. really force me to go there and then yeah under the stick again so this is great for anyone that does suffer actually with well getting that over the top move doesn't it yeah. for the downswing point anyway Absolutely, yeah. yeah definitely yeah and suffers with that slice, so there, and swing through. So we're expecting, well, I'm hoping, a little draw would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Should we have a look, let's have a look at your path. So that one, man. Okay, beautiful, that. So club path there of the minus is slightly out to win. Yeah. So and face angle was minus, so a touch close. Yeah, so yeah. zero is your target line, okay, when we're talking face angle. A negative is left, and a positive is to the right. Yep. For the majority of these numbers that you'll be, we'll be using. Yeah. Okay. So cool. pass slightly left, that's ideal for you. Face is a fraction. Yeah, fraction close, isn't it? And yeah. so there we've got, well, 
pretty damn straight shot. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so let's try and reverse them. Now, obviously, this is for you, Harry. We're going to give you, as I say, that's probably six inches or the swing plate length yeah. outside of the ball. So keep everything on the inside. Let's see what happens. Okay. That felt really weird. <laughs> <laughs> that honestly felt like I was going back to what I used to do. Yeah. And that, that really does feel like it. And that's the difference. We're talking about, I, I wouldn't expect a client who's come in suddenly was 10, 13 degrees left with his club path. Yeah, yeah. You know, suddenly jumped to what? seven and a half. Mm. But we want to, I'm not worried about the shot. We're talking about the shot shape, aren't we, at the minute? Yeah. So it's, it's about changing the direction of the, we're swinging from the majority of players to being too much this way, outside the stick, and we hit a big slice, but we want to get them a little bit more. And if it takes, you have to slow things down. I, we've spoke before, haven't we, about how difficult it is to make a change yeah. at full speed. Yeah, yeah, I, Mine looks no different, so I need to slow it down. So if it's a case of we just move it in to that position and hit some shots, then suddenly we're going to work on path a little bit more. I'm not concerned by the strike. I'm just getting used to getting the club to work more from the inside. Brilliant. And then for the, for the other one, obviously, for someone like myself who's going to work more over, it's like you say, you're just trying to feel, well, get the swing direction working yeah. that way, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Yeah. And so we have it slightly inside. And this is where you'll see a lot. Tommy Fleetwood uses this drill all the time. I think most of his practice is done that way. Well, they have an alignment stick set up thus, and who historically was more of a, he still draws the ball, but yeah. he wants to, you know, he's one of the best in the world with it, when it comes to irons. When he first came on tour, there was more of a, a push and a hook involved. And that's because yeah, yeah. he used to get it too much from the inside. Now he, he's worked with his coaches to try and keep the club a little more here and then a better turn through the ball, hence his curtailed finish. Yeah. But it's about changing the, the direction of your golf swing and how do we do that? We put yeah. an obstacle in the way. Yeah, yeah. And get you to hit some. And that really forces you then yeah. to Well, I yeah, can't if I come inside. Yeah. You know, if you come inside from there, I'm not going to be able to make much contact with the ball. No. So I've got to feel a bit more out, up. And can I cut across it like that? Across one. It. There you go. So. That's perfect numbers for a fade right there. Perfect. So takeaways, it's funny I say takeaways, isn't it? Because that's what we've been speaking about. But takeaways from this session then, for those, for those of you now that are going to go in and give this a practice then. So we've spoken about two really good drills to begin with that they can try. One with the alignment stick, one just using the club. Yeah. And then this here just gives you the opportunity, the swing plate to go and practice if you suffer with too much on the inside or outside. This right here, what we've just shown you, was a great uh, training aid for you that you can just go away and work on those things. You won't need, uh, you will need a camera to keep checking on this, of course, but this is going to help you get there much sooner. Yeah. I mean, you use this quite a lot in your lessons, don't you? And I yeah. began to as well because of it. Yeah, and I've gone through a few alignment sticks as well. <laughs> doing it, but it's, it's getting people used to it. Yeah. Um, we've, you know, uh, there was a guy yesterday and, and it took him a while and he was struggling trying to, you know, he's generally a little bit more outside on the way down yeah. and he wants to draw the ball. So it's took a week or so, you know, from since his last session, but now we've got him drawing it, you know, is it four and five degrees from into out? And he's hitting a nice draw, he's hitting the ball further. Yeah, yeah. Not saying everyone wants to draw the ball. No. But it's about, you know, restraint training, if you like. Yeah. Something in your way, something forcing you to swing the club more down and getting a different feel to what you normally do. Yeah, so restraint training and the key for that is, yeah, controlling the club face, isn't it? Without what we've just spoken about then, those two drills help you to control the club face and that's gonna give you that smooth and effortless backswing that Definitely. we're all looking for. Yeah. Absolutely, well, for those of you who've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a comment down below the tips or drills video topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Comment down below if you'd like to see Graham back on the channel. Thank you, Graham. Pleasure, Cheers, that. Really, really enjoyed that. Thoroughly enjoyed that to hear your opinion on the takeaway as well. Great discussion there on that. So make sure you go and give it a try. Subscribe as we're so close again to 10K. And if you'd like to look into getting one of these swing plates, we'll uh, drop a discount code in the description, Sure 5 Head over to Golf Swing Systems and you can get yourself one of these to make sure that you're getting that takeaway 
in great backswing that we're all looking for. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.